news politics the new Labour leader used his first PMQs to grill Dominic Raab, and said the UK is way behind the curve in terms of testing Wednesday, 22nd of April 2020. 2.07 p.m. Sirkia Starmer has accused the government of having a coronavirus testing system beset with obvious problems, which has caused it to be used at less than half its actual capacity. In his first Prime Minister's questions as leader of the opposition on Wednesday, the Labour leader picked apart the government's testing targets and said the UK is still way behind the curve of what it should be doing. The iPolitics newsletter cut through the noise The iPolitics newsletter cut through the noise He said the demand from people to be tested is there but workers are struggling to get to testing centres because they don't have a car and cannot use public transport, calling on the government to revise its current plan. The weekly Commons grilling was a considerably more muted affair than normal, with the majority of MPs not present in the chamber and dialing in via video link instead. Testing numbers Sirkia was up against Foreign Secretary Dominic Raab, who is standing in for Prime Minister Boris Johnson while he recovers from coronavirus. Unlike the previous clashes between Mr Johnson and former Labour leader Jeremy Corbyn, both leaders focused on details and specifics rather than the usual political point scoring these sessions can descend into. Sirk Ear began by asking why the government is still not making full use of the testing capacity in the UK and said the country has been very slow in making progress in this area. He questioned how ministers maintained the promise of reaching 100,000 tests a day by the end of the month when the country is currently carrying out less than 20,000 tests per day. Way behind the curve, Dominic Raab said there was testing capacity for 40,000 people. The health secretary made a very important commitment to 100,000 tests a day by the end of April, but yesterday the figure for actual tests was 18,000 a day and that was down from Monday, which was 19,000 tests a day. He said, we're way behind the curve and the end of the month is a week tomorrow. So, what does the first secretary expect to happen in the next eight days to get us from 18,000 tests a day to 100,000 tests a day? Mr. Raab responded by talking about testing capacity, saying it was up to 40,000 a day and will increase exponentially by the end of the month. He added, of course. He is right to say that in the final week that will require a big increase. 18,000 of 40,000 possible tests carried out Sirkia said the government's system had obvious problems which were preventing people from accessing tests Sirkia honed in on the testant figures, pointing out the numbers revealed less than half of the capacity is being used when there are still health workers desperate to be tested. The first secretary says that there is capacity for 40,000 tests a day and I think it's really important that we fully understand what the first secretary just said, he said. Because that means that the day before yesterday, 40,000 tests could have been carried but only 18,000 tests were actually carried out. Now, all week I heard from the front line, from care workers who are frankly desperate for tests for their residents and for themselves, desperate. They would expect every test to be used every day for those that need them. Workers having to drive miles for a test circuit said the government's testing plan had an obvious problem that tests were available but care and health workers were still finding themselves unable to access them. To get a necessary test, they are then instructed to travel to a testing center, which is often very many miles away, he said. Now there's an obvious problem with that system. Not all care workers will have access to a car, because they've got symptoms or family members have got symptoms they obviously can't use public transport, so it is little wonder we're seeing these pictures of half-empty testing centers. Mr. Raab replied that it was right to say it is also about distribution as well as demand and admitted there were logistical and frankly transport challenges people had encountered when trying to access a coronavirus test. And he said the government is working with the local resilience forums to make sure that we can distribute the tests as effectively as possible. He said, I do think it is important to have a target and to drive towards a target. We are making good progress, we're confident we'll meet it. Let's block ads. 
Why?